to facilitate a strong pipeline and ensure that we have world-class researchers in the future, we need to have programs like CRESS to really bolster pipelines that keeps a sustainable workforce at Sandia National Laboratories. It's a very unique system. I have learned uh, lots about the fundamentals of mechanical engineering at my college, but I've never got, gotten the experience of how to uh, apply all those basic fundamentals that I learned at the university to, you know, like actually work as a mechanical engineer. Got it. For me, it was important that I give these students impactful work so they understand not only is this, you know, internship rewarding, but is it something that will really be a career they want to pursue after they graduate? I think that's the thing that impressed me because I think when I thought about an internship, I was like, okay, they're going to give you like the small work here and there, bring here, you get here and they're like, from day one, they're like, okay, here we go. This is the mission. This is what we need to do. You're thrown into the deep end pretty quickly. You have to make decisions. You have to come up with ideas and that really forces you to adapt quickly. It allows the labs to also look at different demographics and really push diversity, equity, and inclusion in a direction that allows their research to also have impacts in their communities. It gives you the sense of purpose that you're doing something that's not only just to make a career out of it, but that the people around you are benefiting from it. Having these students that come from backgrounds that are impacted by climate change to work on the solutions to address those challenges is actually one of the unique qualities of this program that I feel is even bigger and broader impacts because it also impacts their communities. I want to be able to not only study our impact in the environment, but also what can we do to make it better. Because you know, I think the future of clean energy will be this holistic approach. You know, we need solar, we need wind, we need nuclear, geothermal, and to get to work at a lab where the future of all those technologies is being developed currently is really exciting and really rewarding. Sandia has opened their their laboratories to not only me but a lot of my people, <laughs> and we have been very successful here and. I think that I can be successful too. <laughs>